the students of upper elementary are right now learning about renewable energy, that what a rich source it is, we need to find some different source other than fossil fuels because the fossil fuels are not going to be here forever. And for learning this, they're working on projects. They're making these neat little models which demonstrate how renewable energy can be used, how powerful water is, how powerful wind is. And um, well, it's Maria Montessori says that uh, the hands are the instruments of man's intelligence. example of hydropower, and hydropower is an energy created by water. Our example here is made out of wooden sticks and hot glue. Our turbine itself is made out of plastic fins that we cut out of lid, different lids and a cork. So hopefully what will happen is the power of water will spin the turbine, which will pull the car into the sink. They are trying to make these neat models with their hands so that they know exactly how the turbines move, how when the water falls on these turbines, the turbines spin and make the toy car move. It gives them the true way the whole system, the hydropower works. We have such rich resources that are going to be there forever and we can use them and we need to use them in our daily life as much as we can and substitute fossil fuels with them. These renewable sources are the sun, wind, and water. We made a few models and I'll show you them. So this is my first model and it is a wind-powered car and it moves from the force of the wind hitting the sail. When they make these cars, these little sail cars, and blow it and see how the force of the wind moves those cars, it makes them realize how powerful wind can be. This design is based off a wind sack, and when the force of the wind hits one side, it rotates to the next, and this cycle goes over and over again, making the wind sack spin.